So we've got ourselves Alfonso Davies, the 89 left back. Very interesting to see. We've got him as a five star, four star. We have got him ooh, left back, left mid, left wing, and also left wing back. 99 pace, pretty standard for him. Dribbling wise, looking good. Composure with a bit of an upgrade. I don't know what his previous card was. He obviously had a Thunderstruck, I believe, which was an 87. In terms of the difference, we've got one on an extra pace, four shooting, two passing. Two dribbling. What was his composure? 82. So he's only gone up by a plus two. He has got the whipped pass plus, which is very nice indeed. We have intercept, rapid, quick step, and Travella for him. Defending wise, we could do a bit of work, but now we've got no pace to really upgrade. It's absolutely fine because we can go with a sentinel. We can just go all out on that defending. The thing I'm worried about is we've got seven SBCs to complete. Oh, and we start with the 85. So in form one, 85. We've got an 86 in form again. So that makes two with an 86. We have an 87. Two in forms for another two 87s. And an 88. So we need four in forms at a minimum. We need an 88, 87, 87. Oh my God. Okay. What was Bruno actually? What's the comparison like? So we're six for Bruno. 86, 86, 87. And double 88. Bruno was coming in quite expensive as well, to be honest. So if we look at Bruno, he was coming in at a whopping 800,000. Would he be more? I feel like he, the 288s is what throws me on the cost because they're coming in at 200 each. So he loses that. So it's 200 for the 88. Then we've got an 87, but an 87 with an inform as well. Bruno's got that at 133. So we're looking at 200, 330, 460. We've got an 87 on its own, which I'm pretty sure is about 110. So we're looking at, what, 570? I can't remember what I said. 86, which really shouldn't be that expensive, at 70. So you're looking anywhere between about 650 to 750, I think, without obviously it coming on the SBC just yet. It's, it's doable. The only thing that I don't get is... 89, like, at least make him the 90. I get that he's already got the double upgrade and they're not going to just go absolutely mental with these SBCs. But when we look at left backs at who we've got, that could be like we've got Backer, you've got Roberto Carlos. We've got Ashley Cole as an SBC already. Lodi was an SBC that has now, is that what? Yeah, it is. I was going to say, he's changed his dynamic. Nice. But he's got a live card that now has got to 88. Teo is, is an ultimate dynasties. Keane's not really relevant. Havertz was an SBC. So it makes it a little bit more tricky unless you are a big fan of Davies. Maybe you don't or haven't done Havertz, Backer, or who did I say? Loddy. That's a potential. Or obviously, you've obviously got um, Ashley Cole as well. But that is not what we're here for. Let's have a look at how to grind him. So first things first, get your daily logins done. Get it out of the way. You might as well, as soon as you log in, do that 100% because I guarantee I've done it before. You will miss out on one because naturally it is just once you've not done it and you kind of used to doing it straight away, it just goes out your memory. Today should be the third or fourth day, I want to say. I don't even know how many days we're actually on, but we will be on if I go to milestones it's oh we don't get anything for today so we're day five so six is going to be our next one with an 83 times two okay that's a bit dead i thought we'd actually get something so then if we have a look at what we kind of want to be grinding because we need the four informers at a minimum if you've already got them then you don't really need to do this part if you don't already have them then the main thing is going to be doing them 83 tear player picks because naturally that's going to be the best way to get them easily sometimes you can get them from packs i understand that but if you haven't got any this is what we're going to have to do four times so i don't know how many i've actually got I've got three that I could put in, so that's not terrible. So this would be, if it was myself, I need one more at a minimum. With, obviously, the SBCs, you've got two 87s that are needed. You've then got 185, 186, I think. 185 and 186. So when it comes to the 85, I would potentially be looking at 83 or 84 if I had no 85s. 86s, I'd probably be looking... At a minimum, 84, but realistically, I'd be trying to get that 85, 86 if you can. And 87, purely dependent on how much higher-end fodder you've got, I'd definitely be looking at more your 86, 87. Because naturally, they're going to lower it down so much. So if I had an 84, for instance, there, I'm going to have to put in a lot more 88 and 89s. With the factor that we've got this 88-rated team, 
that could take a lot of your high-end fodder. So naturally, try and get them ratings if you can. 286 or 87s, at least 84 to 86 for this one. And then realistically, you could go 83 to 85 for one of these, as that isn't the problem. So once you've done that, that will just be a grind that you do as we go through premium upgrades, waiting for the league SBCs, all of that good stuff. We did, however, get ourselves our lovely daily golds back we can now repeat them four times a day for 55 days that is absolutely music to my ears we also then got as as well as that we got two repeatables of daily silver and daily bronze this is going to be a very grind heavy time but with these they're perfect they give you I, I don't actually know what they give you anymore we've been doing it just every day and i completely forget but you only have to give in one player per one honestly it is the best it, the easiest grind that you can get going on here. Naturally, you can use a lot of these players in the League SBCs. You can carry it forward to just general upgrades. If you don't want to do the League SBCs, you get 12 players free rare from it. I've got some duplicates, obviously, but you can get 12 players each time. So technically, we could do at least two of the gold players, the daily golds, just off them alone. So for me, that is a big W for EA, let alone the exchange. I think that is absolutely massive. So I would first and foremost, daily login, daily golds, daily silver, daily bronze, get them out of the way straight away. They don't take much time. That's gonna give you all of the silver and bronzes you need for half of these. Then you just need to get the other half, not a problem. It is only bronze and silvers. You do get a few players back as well. Potentially some tradable uh, kind of value there. Very unlikely, but it is possible to get some bronze players that go into evolutions. Same with the silvers that everybody wants and you can sell them because they are tradable. So from there, you'll get the 11 gold players, one rare, 10 gold common. So it means you can get four common no four rare and 40 common every single day from just bronze and silvers number one on the list get it done if you are grinding this game and whilst we've got literally nothing else out yet definitely get this done a hundred percent even if you don't want to do alfonso and you're just here just to see the grinding method then make sure you are doing them even stack them if you really want if you want to go into the league sp the league upgrade spc on, I believe Monday it should come out, then just keep them. You should then get, what, what are we on? We're on Saturday, so you get four, eight, 12 of them by the time that releases. That's a lot of players already. That's at what, 120, no, what is it, 12? You should get 12 of them. So that's 12 rare, 120 common, I believe. Maths is definitely not my strong suit at the minute, but in terms of it, that is perfect. So if you then want to carry on with them upgrades, you're opening stuff, the premium mixed upgrade is going to be your best friend. With that, you want to be doing all of the upgrades I have got on the channel. Search in there, premium mixed upgrade, how to grind it. It's on the channel. It goes in depth. It's perfect for this grind. You want to be doing League and Air Divisi. Bundesliga Serie A, Prem La Liga, and the Lib and Sud. Realistically, you should only have to buy a handful of cards in these three, and then the Lib and Sud is a potential depending on how your club's set up. Realistically, what I would be looking at when it comes to Lib and Sud, I know I have got Cavani, but I'd be looking at Cavani at a minimum, and then Fernandez as the second one. Them two are the most important to get in there to keep that rated as high as possible. Both of them mean 79. I believe you can get Fernandez. I want to say they're normally about 2k each. They might even be cheaper with how many people are opening packs. So that just makes that grind so much easier. 1.7 is easy, easy price for him. So that just makes it life so much simpler with that one. But I would then sell these. Make sure you are selling everything from the pack. If it goes, sell it. A shadow, a hunter, a... I'm just going to say position change then, but we don't have any. But anything that is selling, even kits, if you have a look, if it does sell, sell it. Make the coins back properly, and then obviously you do keep all of your untradeable. Prime gold players for finishing it. Once you've then gone around a few times, you should start getting duplicates. If you do get duplicates, say, any of the major leagues, so realistically, if it looks like it can go in any of these, keep it. Try and do the SBC and naturally put it back in again. But sometimes it isn't possible. What you want to be doing then is you have a couple of options. My personal favorite would be Winter Wildcard right now. I believe we should be getting a player pick on Monday or at least at some point. And naturally, we're going to get the League, well, the League, League Upgrade SBCs. It's not the League Upgrade. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. 
It's hard to distinguish. You've got the Le- you've got the League SBC and well the Premium League SBC and the League Upgrade SBC. League Upgrade SBC will be like the eleven Prem back. You can just con- continuously do that, but that will kind of be a grind in itself video because you want to put the Upgrade SBC into that. Then obviously from there we can go into the exchange if you manage to get any fodder that is within the ratings of eighty five to eighty nine and you have nowhere to put them, then definitely be using this. This is. Something different that I've never seen before, but it is an absolute gold mine because the amount of players in the league upgrade SBCs that we're going to get duplicate, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Trust me, we'll do a video on it on Monday and it will be absolutely golden with any other upgrades that you've got. So if you are starting to craft stuff, you've done your team of the week picks. What you kind of want to do from there, you can potentially stack the defenders if you really want. But I would say the attackers is going to be the number one to start with because we are we are grinding for a team of the year here as well. It isn't all about the SBCs. But if you do manage to get an 84 rated team and an 87, that isn't going to be terrible to then get free 85s. I believe we can do this three times. We can do it three times a day for two days. So naturally, that is going to be when we get the midfielders out. No, we get the midfielders out tomorrow, so we can technically still do it. I believe when the attackers go, they actually all go, and then just the midfielders will be in. So it'll be midfielders, men, midfielders, women, and then normally the team of the year icons. The attackers then will come back at the end. I don't think it's a progression thing. It is naturally just you've got the attackers, midfielders, defenders, then the full team. So make sure you are doing that. Also, the 83 times 10 is still there. You can do that three times a day for the next five days. That's going to be a perfect one to keep grinding out if you are trying to get a team of the year as well. We do have, if you're not choosing the winter wildcard upgrade, we do have the 81 double. There is a few people that do like this one. The fact that it's 11 cards, five rare, I'm not normally a big fan of that. I tend to like the more seven, six upgrades because if we're kind of looking at it, it, it's just really another one to suck a lot of comments in and I never really find it to be that impressive. It's sometimes good, but it's never normally the one for me. Whereas with the winter wildcard upgrade, you do get three players back and it is 11, but you also get objectives complete as well. We haven't got long for that. So if you are still trying to get that done, then you do want to get it done as quick as possible. But as you can see, I'm kind of just grinding through it a little bit at a time. I'm not too fussed about the, the full implications of it, but it is what it is. So when we've grinded through that, we've kind of done all our league upgrades. You just keep going with it. Keep going until you get that duplicate. We can then have a look at what we've got in the club to then be able to finish an Alfonso. You might have just an 87 team to do. I would try and go from 88 downwards if you can. And then say you do get a duplicate 87 and you haven't got quite enough to finish off one of these squads. You could potentially do the 85, but I would always try and do the 88s. Use your quick sell recovery as that is going to be a perfect method at this moment in time. But if you don't have any, then try and do one of these. Failing that, if again, you don't have an 85 rated team, that is where the exchange is going to be perfect for it. It means you can at least get some players back. With an 87, you get 19 players back, 27 for the 88, and 51 for the 89. It is a perfect grind round. And you should be there in no time. I will say, this is not going to be the best grind that we've seen just yet. That is going to be when the League Upgrade SBC comes on Monday. It's going to be phenomenal. It's where we really start to grind. And then as we get into kind of the, the later stage of the week when the full team is, is in packs, that is where you go really hard. At the minute, just keep it going. Don't, don't absolutely gut your club for all of these SBCs. And this is exactly what they want you to do to start with. And then we get something we don't know about. Every year it seems to be they have another way to kind of almost give us our... Uh, our packs and then just take them away straight away waiting for the good thing to come so it is a bit of a grind to get him done as well especially with everybody else that's there bruno davies we've still got some winter wild cards naturally mbappe is still there and then all of the icons as well from georgie best all the way down to Hullet. I think Zidane is still there for 20 days. Maldini's got 16 days. There's a lot of SBCs to do. But he looks a semi-decent player. I wouldn't say he's number one. But he's definitely a nice upgrade on a left back if you don't already have one. But apart from that, let me know how you get on and who you're completing. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Paces, Conte will come soon.